All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate your time as always. Our special guest this week is Amber for this uh, session of Coffee Talk. So we wanted to do things a little different uh, because you all know we have reopened the Senior Resource Center. So we wanted to be able to sit down with Amber and ask her some questions, um, kind of see what she's thinking about the Senior Center being reopened. And then I actually have a PowerPoint that I'm going to click through with you guys to um, answer some frequently asked questions, show you how to access and use the portal um, and be a resource for you today, um, you know, since, since we have the time. So I'm going to turn it over to Amber. Amber, how, how are things going? What are, what are your thoughts about the center being reopened? So first, we're really excited to finally be open. Uh, we officially reopened for in-person activities on April the 12th, which was about 395 days that we were closed for group in-person um, activities. Um, so it was, uh -huh. you know, there's, there's been quite a bit of, of change, um, you know, that we've had to implement to make sure that we are keeping social distancing in place. Um, we have had to reduce our capacity to 50%. Um, and so it's just kind of looking at pieces of the puzzle. How do we bring back the, as many of the classes um, that we had in order to kind of fit them back into a normal, quote unquote, normal rotation, but still be able to implement the 50% reduced capacity, as well as also implementing times in between each class to clean high touch areas and things like that. So it's been exciting. It's mm -hmm. been, you know, a lot of work um, to make sure that we develop a, a good and safe reopening plan. Um, which we were able to do. Um, one of the biggest challenges, I guess, for us, um, not only as a team members with staff, but also with participants that are used to coming to the center is, is our pre-registration process. Um, that is something new mm -hmm. that we had to implement. So we are working with one of our vendors called Serve Tracker, and we implemented a new online client portal system. And so what that, that allows us to do is enter all of our class schedules, um, program opportunities online, and then folks can sign up for a client portal, which once they activate their portal, then they can go in and see what classes, activities are available, what time of the day that they're available, and they can right from the online system uh -huh. register for that class. Um, we have set capacity limits on it. So as soon as that, that class is full, then it goes away from the portal, which it wouldn't allow someone else to, to register. So that's one of the ways that we um, had to implement with our reopening plan is, is making sure that we maintain that uh, capacity limits, the social distancing, and then we're, we are requiring folks to still wear a mask while they're at the Senior Resource Center participating in indoor activities. Um, and, and probably one of the biggest questions we've been asked because uh, well over 70% of New Hanover County's older adult population has received the vaccine, which is great news. Um, so it's a, mm -hmm. that's a pretty strong high percentage. Yes. But with that, you know, we have a lot of folks that are saying, well, do I still need to wear a mask because I've received my vaccine? <laughs> And right now the answer is yes, yes. until um, you know, our local leaders make the decision um, to, to, to say, okay, now you no longer need to wear a mask for in-person act activities. Because um, we don't mm -hmm. know who has received a vaccine and who hasn't. So we want to make sure that we're putting measures in place to keep everyone as safe as possible. Miss um, Glenn, it looks like you have a question uh, I have before we keep going. Yes. Uh, so I assume uh, whenever the classes are full, you close that portal out so nobody else can register, right? Correct. That's what you're yes. saying. Yes. Okay. Now, <clears throat> now I've registered, and my husband, I think we are registered for this yoga oh. class that starts today. I think. Okay. Uh, but I'm not. I'm not sure whether or not I'm actually registered. Okay. You understand so what I'm saying? I do. So on the client portal. So you've activated your client portal. Is that right? 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So when when you log in to your client portal, and this is probably something that Rachel will also show later, um, there's a there's tabs at the top. I want to say there's like four different tabs, and one of those is called mm-hmm. My Classes. Mm-hmm. So if you click on My Classes, if you've registered for class, it would show up on your calendar, um, and that would that will show if you've confirmed yeah. that you've registered. Or yes, if someone, yes, if you're yes, not, okay, well, doing, I, am, I am registered then because oh, I did perfect. see it okay. on the calendar. All right. If it's if it's on that calendar or under my classes, then that means that you successfully registered. Mm-hmm. Good. Now, how would I know whether or not my husband is registered, Miss Rachel? Didn't you say that you were going to register him or see that he got registered? Yes, ma'am. So he is registered. Yes. He should have gotten that same email. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay. Thank you so much. Yep. So with of that, course. okay. So we're good to up, go on that. And you brought up a good point, mm-hmm. Gwen. Um, so that client portal is unique to that individual. So you're you wouldn't be able to see if mm-hmm. someone else or who else has registered, you know, for that class because it is secure and it's unique to to just you um, with your unique password. And that's a good idea too, to close it out whenever the class is full, that way nobody will be mm-hmm. expecting, you know, to register and get in there and try and register and find out that class is closed. Yeah, that's, right. that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Well, Amber, with um, you, the Amber. classes that we, we currently have, um, do you see in the future that we'll be adding more classes to participants and the class sizes might get a little bigger? I know we get asked that quite a bit um, when we'll be able to have more and that kind of goes with Gwen's point that we have to close them when they are full. Um, So do you see that happening in the future? Absolutely. Um, So I'm not sure if y'all saw the governor's press conference yesterday uh, where I think the state's goal is to reduce capacity or actually to um, eliminate those capacity limits um, by June 1st. We don't know, you know, what's going to happen two weeks from now. So, you know, we're already kind of thinking about that. For us, does that mean that come June 1st that we no longer are at 50% reduced capacity? Do we go at that point to 100%, you know, capacity? Um, So those are things that we're already thinking about now. Um, we, we know that we'll still continue to use the online client portal for a few reasons. I think it's a good tool for people to see what classes that are being offered at the Senior Resource Center. But also, even yes. if we go to 100% capacity, a room, each room can still only hold a certain amount of, uh, of people in that class anyways. So we'll still continue um, to implement, you know, the online client portal. But, um, you know, we, we may change um, you know, like I'm, I'll think of billiards, for example. Um, we might not have four sessions of billiards classes. Instead, it might be only two sessions of billiards. Um, you know, we'll increase that number. Instead of only having eight, it might be a total of 16 can be in that room. So we'll look at each class, you know, from a capacity standpoint. Um, we don't want any class to be too many people in it because we want everyone's experience that they take like such as yoga you wouldn't want to take a yoga class that is packed Mm -hmm. we want you to have you know that instructor ratio that you're getting really good instructor based on that instructor um, participant ratio Mm -hmm. definitely does anybody have any um, questions for amber good morning Hi, Hi, mr james how are you james pretty good i was running a scan good morning miss bob I was running a scan and it that it took too long, so that's why I was late getting on. Well, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Thanks for joining. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, Amber, I have one last question for you. Um, I know you are incredibly busy, so when I give you back some of your time this morning, um, what are you personally most excited about now that we are reopened? You know, I think seeing all of you, <laughs> seeing the people coming back. Oh. In, the Senior Research Center, I can't tell you how much that we have missed everyone coming in the building. We, we were still doing a lot of incredible work throughout the pandemic. We were still, you know, we're still, we're doing 
our nutrition programs and our transportation. And of course, we were fortunate to, to add Rachel onto our team to start introducing virtual programming as well. But there's nothing like actually having people coming in the building, seeing one another, seeing the reactions of when when the um, people were hadn't seen someone in a year, you know, um, and actually participating, whether it's playing pool or in the exercise room or taking a yoga class. Um, that's really what I'm most excited about is to continue to see more and more um, people come back to the senior center when they feel they're ready to do so. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the most important thing. You know, we, we want this the Senior Resource Center to be enjoyable for all and for individuals to feel safe while they're here. That's, I think that's my favorite part too. It's, it's so exciting, you know, when you were to first start a job in the middle of a pandemic, it's hard to envision what it looks like in a non-pandemic setting. So to be able to, to have joined at the time that I did, I'm very fortunate that I didn't have to, um, you know, wait too long before we had everybody come back. So it's been, it's been so exciting, even being there for just a short time, you know, without people was, was very hard. So I agree, Thank I think you. that's a wonderful. Uh, Rachel, you, you're one of actually several new staff that we were fortunate to have joined the team, but they would join the team during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So it was, it's hard, I guess, to envision what was the senior center like pre-pandemic? And so that's another thing that I'm really excited about is the team, the new team that has come on board to meet our, you know, our wonderful participants that come and to the Senior Resource Center and, and see how valuable, you know, the Senior Resource Center is to our community. And so that's another thing I'm excited Definitely. about. And, you know, we're going to be adding new classes. Um, we wanted, again, to make sure that our, you know, pre-pandemic classes had an opportunity to come back. Some of those classes might have had different times or even different locations. Some of our instructors might have been at one location, but now they're at a different location. Um, and so it's just trying to figure out what is, what is a good fit um, to make sure that we're trying to put as much as we can um, in offerings to, to the citizens of New Hanover County. And once we establish a good, I guess, rhythm or cadence with that, then we're going to be adding new classes and new opportunities, um, you know, for, for participants. So that's one thing I want to make sure that the public is aware of is always be looking at the client portal or our social media, our Facebook um, page as we introduce more programs, more virtual opportunities, um, as well as more in-person opportunities. And if somebody has an idea that we currently aren't offering, please let us know because we want to make sure that we're, you know, providing a well-rounded, I guess, program and activities for everyone. Definitely. Does anybody have any questions or any comments they'd like to share with Amber? Yeah, I think um, one of the things that like Amber said is that seeing people in person. Yes, yes. It, it, it uplifts your spirit because I noticed when we went out for the celebration a couple of weeks ago and picked up all the gifts and things, it was like, oh, it's been a whole year since I've seen you guys, you know. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it was great seeing Rachel, you know, because it was, it was like, great seeing yeah, you. Yeah, it was like I, I seen her on, t on the computer and everything, and it's like, Oh, okay, that's how she looked. Okay, and then then you see her in person, and then you go, oh yeah, that's how she looks. You know, yeah. <laughs> I know I'm shorter in person, aren't I? I yeah. look so tall on this camera. Yeah, I, th I thought she was like six foot tall, and she. <laughs> I know it. No, no way, not even close. <laughs> but but it, I appreciate it. it. I, I like to think that I do look tall on here. <laughs> but it was nice because I, I noticed one of the uh, 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 foster grandparent ladies was telling me. I thought you were bigger in person. You would be bigger in person. And it's like, no. I say it's like a camera. The computer put pounds on you, you know. But uh, it was great seeing people in person because what it does is it kind of like uplifts your spirits. It does. It does. It and, does. And, and we as humans need that human 
communications and associations to, to really live. That's right. I think, you know, having the technology in one way, it's a blessing that at least we have at least this, um, if we couldn't be in person. But there, uh, there is nothing like being in person. Um, it did it, I think, Mr. James, you're right, is it, there's something that does to your soul when you see individuals in person and, you know, eventually we'll have the mask off, you know, in person, I hope, down, down the road when it's safe to do so. And they see everyone smile um, as well. But just think how sad it would have been if we didn't have the technology and you wouldn't see anybody. It would have been awful. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Definitely. Well, Amber, thank you so much for spending some time with us and filling us in on your thoughts and how things are going. We appreciate everything that you do to keep the Senior Resource Center running as smoothly and efficiently as it does. So thank you so much. And um, as thank always, you, if we can ever do yeah. anything for you guys participant wise, like Amber said, you know, um, provide different programming. If you have you know ideas and questions about different things, please always feel free to share with us. We we look forward to having those conversations. But Amber, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Okay. Thanks, Amber. So I, continuing on with the, the portal conversation, I actually have um, a PowerPoint presentation to share with you all so you can see how it looks. Let me pull it up here. And share with you what the portal looks like as well. So that way, if you were kind of on the fence about it or um, not sure, um, now you have the chance to see it. So can everyone see my screen okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect. Let's start it up here. So the first and most important thing with our online portal is how to gain access to it. So if you are interested in getting onto our client portal, you're going to want to call the number that you see at the top right there, the 798-6450. It's a voicemail line, so no one will be on the other end. No one's going to pick up. Um, and you will be directed um, to leave a voicemail with your name, your phone number, and your email, um, and that you'd like to you know, get access to the online client portal. Um, and then you'll get two emails to the email that you provided. Um, one is gonna come from SRC reservations, and the other one is going to come from Serve Tracker. Um, so it won't, it won't say anything about New Hanover County, it'll say Serve Tracker. So then there's two ways that you can get to the online client portal. And so you can put in your search engine the client.servetracker.com slash pound sign, they've changed it on us, slash login. Or if that's giving you a hard time, you can always go to the Senior Center website, which the email or email, <laughs> the URL is at the top right there. And when you get to that home screen for the Senior Resource Center, there's a purple bar that's across the top and it has different choices for different things that we offer. The far right choice says online portal. You can click on that and it will open a new web browser for you and you can log in there. So a couple login tips for you. So when you get the email from Serve Tracker, it's going to have a temporary password in it. And it's a random assortment of numbers, letters. Some of the letters are lowercase and some are uppercase. So you'll use your email address as the login and you wanna make sure that you type in your entire email address. So not just the first part, you want to include the at Gmail or at Yahoo, at AOL.com. That's important. Um, and then you're going to carefully type in, or you can try copying and pasting your temporary password into the password bar. Remember, it is case sensitive, so it's very particular about the letters and the way that they were typed. And then to the right there, you see I've listed out some of the criteria that you have to have for your new password. So once you've set your temporary password, it's gonna require that you make your own. And this is for security purposes so that this account, like Amber said, is unique to you and only you have access to it. So you have to have a minimum of eight characters throughout your whole password. Uh, one of them does have to be uppercase. We need at least one number and at least one special character. So an exclamation point, an asterisk, an at sign, something like that. You can have more than eight, but you have to have at least eight total. So I also have a, right here some frequently asked questions that I wanted to go over um, to kind of give you guys a little bit more information. So what if you log in on the portal and you don't see the class that you're wanting to take? 
So if that's the case, the class is most likely full. Once you, um, Gwen was kind of mentioning this um, with Amber, once the class is full, it's no longer available to sign up on the portal. If that's the case, you can give us a call at that 798-6450 and you can leave a voicemail and we can put you on a wait list for that class. That way, if somebody has to unenroll for that, we can then let you know that there's space available. Um, if you register for a class and can't come, not a problem. We totally understand that things come up. Um, so what you'll do is you'll call that exact same number, 798-6450, and you'll just let us know. You'll leave a message saying, hi, it's Gwen, and I can't make it to yoga today. Uh, I'll try again next week, and we will take it off for you. There is not an option for you to remove your class from the portal itself, so you'll want to give us a call as soon as you know. Um, even if it's on the same day as the class, just let us know in advance. If you don't have a computer, That's, uh, what's that number again, Rachel? Seven nine eight hood six four five zero. Say that again. Sixty four fifty six four five zero. Okay, so I didn't hear all the numbers. Okay, gotcha. No problem. So if you don't have a computer at home. There's no issue with that at all. Um, and you still wanna register for classes, not a problem. You'll call that exact same number, 798-6450, and you'll give us your name, um, a good contact phone number in case we have any questions, and what classes you're wanting to enroll in, and we will register you um, on our end. So not a problem. Um, if you never get an email with a temporary password, uh, we have noticed that sometimes, depending on your email, the, um, the email itself is going to the spam folder. So you'll wanna check your spam or junk folder. If it's still not showing up, give us a call and let us know and we can resend it as many times as we need to to make sure that you get that password. Um, if you guys remember when you came to the Senior Resource Center before we closed for COVID, um, there was a kiosk at the front desk where you could swipe your ID badge um, to check in. Is a small white card laminated with your name and an ID number on it. Um, that badge still works. You do not need to get a new one and it will still do the exact same thing. If you never got an ID badge, you'll let us know at the front desk. Um, if you remember, um, you filled out probably a while back bright green sheets that had information about you, know, you personal, personal information that we could keep on file, um, your name, your address, and a good emergency contact, things like that. You'll come up to the front desk. We actually have blue sheets now, and we're asking that all participants fill one out. Um, we haven't been able to see you all in so long. So we wanna make sure that we have the most up-to-date information. On the top of that paper, just write us a note saying that you need a new ID badge and we can get one made for you. So another question that we've been asked so frequently, and I know Amber kind of covered this a little bit too, but I think it's so important, um, is why, why we have everybody register for every class every week. Um, in order to make sure that we're following all of the guidelines that the county, the local government, and then as well as what's recommended by you know, the CDC, uh, we need to make sure that we are maintaining the limits of number of people we can have in the building and in each room. Um, so each room has its own specific capacity, so we maintain that 50% limit. Um, so it's so important that we not only have everyone register for class so we can maintain that number, but we also wanna know who is in the building and who's participating in our classes. So we do ask that you do register for each class that you wanna come. What's really great about the online portal is that we do have, so right now through the end of April. So if you knew you wanted to come and play pool every day between now and April 30th, you can register right now for all of those classes. And we'll be starting to add May um, this week as well. So you'll be able to check back frequently and see the next month's classes, but you do need to register for every class that you're wanting to attend. Um, and if you do forget, just give us a call and let us know and we are happy to talk through that with you. So we also have a YouTube video um, of it's featuring me, yours truly, that goes through the step-by-step -step process of how to actually register for classes. So I have the link here. You can find this in the email that you receive from the client portal as well, from SRC Reservations, the email that you get. There is a direct link to watch this video. Um, but since I'm here with you, I wanted to walk you through the process myself instead of showing you the video, but I did want you to know that it's there. So we are gonna go to the 
open up my next screen here for you. All right. So this is what the client portal login screen looks like. You'll put in your information and you will log in. And this is the home screen of the client portal. This is what it looks like for everybody. You can see up here, this is a test account that I made, um, but this will be where your name is. And these, this will have all of your class information. So once you make it here, what you'll wanna do is click on class registration. And you can now see every class that we have available through the end of the month. So a couple important things to notice. Um, some of the classes do have specific times. So with things like the billiards room, the table tennis, um, the exercise room, we do have certain times, two hour blocks throughout the day um, because we do have to have time to go in and sanitize and clean those rooms in between. So you'll wanna make sure that you're looking at the times that those are available. And then the other thing is the day. So this is every class through the end of the month. So that's quite a bit. So you'll wanna make sure you're looking for a specific date if you know you're looking for something maybe next week and not today. So you'll wanna pay attention to things like that as well. Now up at the top here, scroll back up, you'll see up here it says search by and we have a filter bar. So this filter bar will be um, very helpful if you know that you're looking for a specific class um, or if you know you wanted to take a class by a certain instructor. So one class I know that a lot of people are really excited to get back into was the Jerry Fit class. Um, so I know Mary is teaching the Jerry Fit class and let's pretend I'm really interested in taking that. So what I did here is I scrolled down to Mary's name and I selected it. And now I can see only the classes that Mary is teaching for the rest of the month. So that's a really great way to make things a little bit easier to see if you do know that you're looking for something in particular. If you don't, you're more than welcome to just scroll through. Um, but if you do know maybe you wanted to take a class, let's, let's go back to all of the classes we have. If you know you wanted to take a class only on a Wednesday, you don't know what class, but just on Wednesday, you can select the day of the week and then scroll through and see everything we have on Wednesdays for the rest of the month. So if that's a good feature for you to use, that's available. We also have it broken down by category, um, start time, and then locations. So um, we do have every class listed at the Senior Resource Center, as well as at our Castle Hain location. So if you are interested in participating in activities there, you can select Castle Hain and you can see what we have available um, at our Castle Hain site. So now I wanna show you guys how to actually register. Make sure I've got all these turned back off. It's not going to do that. We'll go this way. All right. So if you're interested in registering for a class, let's say we're going to come in and play. Um, let's see. I want to come tomorrow um, at eight o'clock and play pool um, for a little while. What you do is click on the class. So all you do is select the box. There isn't anywhere in particular to click. Just anywhere within that square. And it takes you to this screen that provides more details and information about the class. Um, you can see over here to the left, group size. That's how many people can actually participate in the available seats. So how many people are left, um, how many spaces are left for people to join. So all you'll do at that point is click this orange button here, register for class. And once you get to this screen, this serves as your confirmation screen. There is nothing you need to do further. Once you've gotten here, you've registered successfully. So to, the way to check that, to verify, you can click on my schedule. And now you can see this blue box here for Friday the 23rd, I'm registered to play billiards from eight to 10. Now, if you register for something that's not within this week, right now we have April 18th through the 24th highlighted, you can change it to a month view and see everything you have for the month. You can also look over here to the right, the event list, and this will list in order every class that you're scheduled to take. So right now we just have the one, but if you had a lot, you'd be able to see them all laid out. Something else that's really useful if you ever get stuck or have any questions, um, don't know what to do next, and you don't wanna give us a call quite yet, you can click walk me through up here. This button stays here in the top right the whole time. So you can just click on that and it gives you tutorials, tips, and advice on what to do. So what you would do if you were looking for something 
you can just click through here and see all of the different advice it has to provide. If you still have issues with it, always feel free to give us a call at that 6450 number. Leave a message and someone will get back with you as soon as possible to answer any questions that you might have. So that is the portal. Does anybody have any questions about using it, want to see any part of it again, um, or are curious about any of it? No? So once you get in the portal, I know it's kind of scary seeming at first. Online portal sounds just incredibly frightening, um, and I totally understand, but I hope once you get into it and see what's going on inside of everything, um, you'll, you'll see that it's not too bad. Um, something else to point out is if you're scrolling through and you see a green check mark, that means you're already enrolled in that class. Um, if you see a red X, it looks just like this one up here. That means the class itself has been canceled. Um, so you will not be able to register. We have removed the class. It just doesn't come off the portal. Does anybody have any thoughts or questions? That number that was yeah. behind, uh, I noticed it was something about pool and it was a number behind. Oh, do you mean the one in parentheses? Yeah, that right number now? there in parentheses there. Yeah. So when we were first putting these classes in, that's a great question. When we were first putting these classes in, um, we were hoping that when we would put them in, um, the start date down here, the first line here, was gonna be enough for the title to be unique. So this portal really requires that we have unique users. So that's why no one can share the same email address and unique titles. So it wants us to have um, a title that looks similar to this one here with the name of the class, the date, and then the time, and that keeps it from having that. So basically what it's saying is this is like duplicated. So it's the ninth version, I suppose, of billiards 330 to 430. It just listed numbers um, because we had so many that looked like it. So we quickly realized that and that's why you'll see most classes listed for at least April will have this format with the date and then the time following. Um, that was just something that we were not aware of until after the fact. So at that point, um, we just kind of had to leave it there and going forward, we will have um, the date and time listed. So just disregard that. Um, it doesn't mean anything. It has no impact on the number of people or anything like that. Just um, something that we learned using this portal. So we're just as new at it as everyone else. So the great question. Any other questions or thoughts? No? No. No problem. Yeah, it's, you know, and I know it's um, a little intimidating um, having, you know, an online portal setting, um, but we're very excited about it and everyone, we appreciate everyone's patience as we are learning how to use it um, just as much as everyone else. So we're all in it together and any questions you have, we appreciate because um, it helps us learn what's going on too. So I'm going to stop sharing this. And if you have any questions or need the URL for the login to how to get there or anything like that, let me know and I can drop it in the chat um, or it will be in the email that you get when you sign up for the portal. So that is all there, but I, I'd love to hear any feedback or any thoughts that you all have if you have any um, or any recommendations for classes that you participated in previously, maybe even a few years ago. Um, you all know that I'm pretty new, so I, I might not know about it at all, but I'd love to be able to take these to Kelly and Amber and share with them if you have any thoughts. Yeah, because it seems to me is that setting up an appointment for one of the rooms is similar to you making an appointment in your email on something that's coming up in the yes. future or whatever. It, it seems it a lot, is, yes. yeah, but it, it, the only difference is that, okay, I got this big map, but when you're emails and things, you're just doing it on a, a line and just going on and picking your time. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It is, a, you know, a few more steps. Um, and when you're trying to learn something new, like navigating something like that, it is a little 
confusing and we understand it can be frustrating at first too. Um, but our hope and our, um, our thought is with this portal setup, um, the vendor serve tracker, they've done a great job creating something that is as user-friendly as possible. And that's very important is that the user experience is as convenient and clean as possible. Um, and we really think that it is, um, it, once you log in, it truly is only a few clicks to be able to register. So, and if you're having any issues with it um, or it's giving you a hard time, um, that's okay. We totally get it. And you can just call and let us know and we're happy to register you. So there is always that choice as well. We do ask though that you, if you're able to um, give the portal a chance, um, we, we found that many people who were kind of skeptical and a little concerned about it, um, once they got in, really didn't have any issues. Um, and it really does make it so much more convenient for our participants um, because you have the complete freedom to register for what you'd like. Um, you don't have to wait on anybody else. It's completely on your time at your home um, whenever you want. But that's a I wonderful did it. point. Thank you. Yeah. And I, uh, I that's why I asked you was I raced because I was I still wasn't sure whether or not it had gone through. I was kind of okay. Skeptical, you know, even though I kind of figured I had raced them, I just wanted to make sure that I had. Definitely. So it did go through. Yes. Yes. I took care of you and your husband both for that class this afternoon. Um. And I'm happy to double, triple check and just make sure as well. Um, after this, I'm, I'm happy to. I'll make sure you're all taken care of. But yes, I did uh, put you in and everything. Um, and if you have time to log into the portal and take a look around, I really recommend it um, just to see and make sure that that's, it's on there and you'll be able to see it for your own peace of mind too. Okay. I did awesome. see it. That's why oh, I, was, I okay. wasn't for sure whether or not. <laughs> Yeah. Definitely. I understand. Okay. Um, so the last thing that I had, um, I know it's been a few weeks with the um, senior in the news, but I found something today and I thought it was a really great um, discussion point for us um, as well. Um, Cause I'm interested to hear what you all have to say um, in great Britain. They did a survey um, not too long ago. It just came out um, of a thousand older adults and asking them, to provide their pearls of wisdom, what they would share with a younger generation. Um, and that they didn't really give much more detail. They just asked for that. And then they took all of the results to kind of see how many people were saying the same thing, what their advice was um, to see if everyone kind of had similar thoughts or what was different about them. Um, so it ranged from things like exercise more often. And some people said, don't exercise as much. Um, some people said, tell people, you know, your loved ones that you love them more often. Yes. Don't take yes. yourself yes. too seriously. Um, mm -hmm. So I thought that was interesting that they did a survey on that. Um, but I also wanted to check in with you guys and see what your answer to that question would be. Uh, mine would be to tell people you love them. And I've started doing that when I'm talking to some of my family that's not close by, I never leave the conversation without saying, I love you. And it just makes me feel good. And it makes them feel good because some have called me back and said, you know, I do that now. I tell people I love them more and more. So that's good. I love that. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I think one of the things I would, I tell would... Go ahead, Gwen. Go ahead, Mr. James. Go ahead, Gwen. No, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> okay, Mrs. Well, you you're, both, you're both going. I want to hear what you both have to say. <laughs> okay, uh, but I would tell everybody, I said, I would tell them to make your life much easier. And I wish, I knew it, but I wish I had practiced it more when I was young. But to make your life easier and much simpler, all you have to do is put, is put your trust in God and have faith. And you love everybody and that's gonna take care of all your problems. That's what that's I That's a wonderful tell. point. I, I really appreciate that, that's a good one. That's a really good one. 
I guess All right, what, Mr. James, you're up. I guess, I guess what I would say is stop, don't worry about things that you can't change. Yes. Things you can't do anything about. Don't let that stress you out. And the other thing is before you say something to anybody, you stop and, and think, think about what yes, you Yes, yes, yes. Because a lot of times we'll take and say something right off the top that we really didn't mean could hurt someone's feelings or whatever and it caused more problems. But so I would say take a beat, think about what you're going to say, and then don't stress about things you can't change. That is fantastic advice. Yes. I'm sure that can be yes. used at any point in your life. But I know I'm I am guilty of of stressing about things that I can't change sometimes. Yeah. So yes, yes, yes. Nice to be reminded of it. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I hope that that made you guys. It definitely made me stop and think for a minute about what I would you know want other people to tell me and what I would want to tell other people. Um, I, I hope that. You guys have um, lots more advice that you're willing to share in the future. I know I look forward to learning from you guys each week. Um, and I look forward to this, this little call that we have. Um, it's very important and very special to me. And I know that the recordings are able to be viewed by, by others and, and they can use um, the topics that we share about to educate themselves. But it's conversations like these that you really get to learn um, from others. And I think it's just so important that we get to do that. So thank you for sharing. And if you guys ever need anything, as always, feel free to let me know, give me a call anytime. I'm happy to provide my direct line at the senior center. Um, you guys know how to get in touch with Kelly and Vicki as well. So um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and a nice weekend as well. And I hope to see you guys in person very soon. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank Take you, care. Rachel. Thank you guys. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Okay. Yeah, have a blessed Bye. rest of the day. You guys be safe. Thank you. Be safe. Yes.